So hi guys, uh, welcome back again. Today we are going to Pavilion KL Kuala Lumpur because I need to buy some groceries and um, there's no uh, coffee here, there's no snacks, there's no water. I mean there's water but uh, I think that's um, yeah tap water and I filtered it out already but I have to have a water water. <laughs> You know what I mean? And um, yeah, so this is also part of me touring the pavilion tower as it is part of my uh, to-do to list uh, before I came here. I put already there uh, to go to pavilion KL. So um, I'm just gonna bring you guys with me. So let's go. I'm gonna go downstairs as well because um, the grab is already here. So I'll see you. I'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. So hey guys, I'm here at the um, Pavilion KL. It's quite beautiful. They have all these um, expensive stuff here, but I just have to see it for myself. The place. Ooh. There, we have to go. That's a pavilion suite over there mm, this is quite nice I don't know why they don't have a stair going up I mean it's just a walking <laughs> distance and uh, ooh bread bowl they have bread the low oh they have breakfast uh, different breakfast the Asian delight spaghetti and of course some um, pastries cinnamon raisin wow I might buy that later it's uh, RM6.50 and then croissant it's a, a twist of sambal scrambled eggs filling in a battery croissant danish with curry cucumber that sounds delicious homemade french village oh i never heard about french village natural that's it's a hard bread it says there sardo loaf bread and croissant my favorite i gotta convert rm to php mm. this is quite beautiful so they have the restaurant going down there and i don't want to go there because i will roam around the place um to see what they offer here cartier cartier is that how you say it this one is quite expensive all these stalls it's very expensive so they have here but uh, I'm going to the um, no, I'm going to the uh, place where I could buy where I could buy um, food. I don't know if they have that here, like a, a supermarket or something. Maybe upstairs. Okay, Mercado, I see it. Let's this here. Uh, no. I have a big cheese tart. Lavender. More bread. Buy for 
around later. Huh. And let's go get a card. So they have food uh, around, but I do need is. I only need sugar or stevia. They have stevia. Uh, coffee. They have different type of coffee. Mm. So this is what I bought. Not a lot, but good to go. So I'm here at this uh, Parathai Authentic Cuisine restaurant. I'm gonna have my uh, late lunch. So here they have different type of appetizers. Um, some chicken, some prawns. Mango salad with dried shrimp. That sounds good. But I want something spicy. So I might get the soup. This one? Because that looks good. 39.90. I have to search that one up. And, um. Or I might get the curry. Thai green curry chicken. It's 19 and 90 or red curry chicken <laughs> and some rice, some chicken as well some beef seafood more seafood bean curd and egg I've never heard of bean curd vegetables a uh, noodle and dessert so here they have menu of the drinks different drinks but might have to get some water this is the place just right outside near Mercado so this is what is on the menu there it is exactly the same as the one you saw on the actual menu here you may choose from a variety of appetizers soups salads curries meats and seafood as well as eggs and bean curd I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> vegetables noodles and rice as well as desserts and side dishes and here it's quite unique though because they even have a suggestion particularly for you so personally I chose to have chicken curry with Thai jasmine rice and water because I haven't had a really good curry in quite some time now so yeah this restaurant is extremely unique in that you do not have to call the waitress to obtain your order instead you simply scan the QR code that they gave you and there you may choose different meals and just add it to your basket before proceeding to check it out and when it comes to pay all you have to do is provide the receipt that they gave you and you're done. It is pretty quick and efficient. So this is my order, got that, 
and the warm water that I, I ordered. It's so beautiful here. So I'm outside uh, this place, the pavilion tower, and here you can see different um, stores, the famous stores, expensive one, and a lot of people are here to stop by to take a photo. I think that is the most popular place here, and the pavilion tower, so you can see a lot of them are here, so yeah. I guess. Pavilion Tower is very popular for tourists. There's a lot of tourists out here actually. Foreigners, 